Related to God to offer gifts and sacrifices for sins. He is able, he's able to deal gently with those who are ignorant and are going astray, since he himself is subject to weakness. This is why he has to offer sacrifices for his own sins as well as for the sins of the people. Verse 4, no one takes this honor upon himself. He must be called by God. Just as Aaron was, so Christ also did not take upon himself the glory of becoming a priest. But God said to him, you are my son. Today I have become your father. And he says in another place, you are a priest forever in the order of Melchizedek. Verses 7 to 10. During the days of Jesus' life on earth, he offered up prayers and petition with loud cries and tears to the one who could save you from death. And he was heard because of his irreverent submission. Although he was a son, he learned obedience from what he suffered. And once made perfect, became the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him and was designated by God to be high priest in the order of Melchizedek. Shall we pray? Dear Lord, this afternoon we are very much once again appreciative unto you Indeed, you are the great high priest. That great shepherd of the sheep, Jesus Christ. We thank you for offering yourself as ransom for our redemption. Father in heaven, This hour, once again, I pray that you speak to us. May we hear your voice. That we will continue to glorify you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I'm speaking on the topic dealing with the enemy of self. Avoiding pointless truths. Dealing with the enemy of self. Praise God. Ask your brother or your sister sitting by you. Just ask him or her, who is your greatest enemy? <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Who is your enemy? Hey, uncle, who is your greatest enemy? <laughs> Hallelujah. I hope here nobody will make a mistake to say his wife or his husband. <laughs> Hallelujah. But I'm very serious. Who is your greatest enemy? Since here I'm a seven on pay. We are seeing how I'm on your phone number one. We are going to show by the way I did not know. It took me a little bit to get to the moment. Hallelujah. Yes. Um. This is a very deep question. I want you to continue thinking about it. Hmm. Maybe there are different concepts of enemy, all right? There are different concepts of enemy. I have said it here before. Um, 
Maybe if you have some typical, maybe a kind person, you will say that witch craft. Huh? Like I said, but something here we are. Oh my, we should be talking about it. Man, I don't know what we should be talking about. Hey, 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 Mm -hmm. Maybe he will say the media fake news. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Mm -hmm. So the concept of enemy is quite different and could be contextually wrong. Wow. But today I'm just I've chosen to talk about dealing with the enemy of self. Mm -hmm. The enemy of self. Naturally, you know, self, yeah, yeah, kasa, yeah, self, and me, self, self. Naturally, everybody is selfish. Hmm? Naturally, that is how God has made the in the natural path, natural life. That is how God has made the body. Hmm? Sometimes we are self-protective. If I make an attempt to put my hand on your eye, automatically your eye, you know, will close to protect it. Naturally, it is a natural inclination. Obia, your body make up self. Obia, naturally, that selfish is a many, many, many of the kind. Oh, hmm? I remember um, in two thousand and two. Um, 2003, 2001, 2003. Um, in the house I was living in, uh, my house, in the night, in the middle of the night, you know, I was deeply asleep. And you know, when guys are also going to bed, we wear some boxer, uh, boxer shorts. Everybody knows uh, boxer shorts, shorts, you know. In the night, I heard a noise from my room. Then I opened the door, and the, the, the other part of the house had caught fire. It had boom, a smack. Wow, then I just got up. Then I was having a, a son, my brother's son, that I was living in. One other friend was in the room. I was in the hall, and I saw the fire. So when I saw the fire and I came out, I was afraid that if I go back in the fire reaches. <laughs> so I went behind the house, through the window, and up. Hey, get up, get up. <laughs> I couldn't get up again because I have to first protect myself. <laughs> you know, that is the nature of every human being. Hallelujah. It goes Hallelujah. Amen. But I saw it as a great miracle in my life. Fire, the fire service that came to put off the, uh, the fire, they had declared that car as um, 40, designated to go to a car for repairs. But when they heard the call, they said they would risk the car. So they came to put off the fire, mm, but that vehicle could not drive back. And so I saw it as a miracle in my life in those days. But what I'm just trying to say is that, the picture I'm trying to paint is that human beings are naturally selfish. That is our natural inclination. And yet, the person said, men not even know what they are doing. Men, 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 men. So if you have a baby, we have what we call self-importance. Everybody wants to prove that in his world. Oh, because I don't know a person. A natural. Alright? 
Because that is our natural inclination. Oh, PRT, or what we call self importance. You are the one makers of self defense. Oh, you are the one who self, me, me. Ni from our friends, it's self exhortation. Sometimes, when you pay me to be a man, I'm going to go. Because, Sana, and I die there. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So, one of the greatest enemy in our Christian life is an enemy called self. Hmm? Sometimes even how we think. Huh? Sometimes how we think could either diminish us or even sometimes can kill us. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Am
the cat's tail again. Anything we can learn from these guys. So they gave. Alright? But the answer Jesus gave also teaches us that there is something wrong about your request. Hallelujah. Huh? Then Jesus said, What? Um, it is Jesus asked. You do not know what you are asking. Jesus said, Can you drink the cup I drink? Or be baptized with the baptism I am baptized with? Jesus said, You don't know what you are on. Ask him. Can you drink the cup? Or all the baptism I'm baptized with is a figurative language from the Old Testament. Picturing the kind of suffering Jesus was to go through. Alright? This guy asked for a position of prominence. We will say that sitting at the right hand side of Jesus Christ. Symbolize left and right, symbolize power and prestige. That was their request. But then Jesus pointed out to them that power and prestige, glory does not just come like that. Hmm. Jesus was to wear the tongue before the throne would come. Hello? So the enemy, Jesus had. To overcome in death is the desire for tongueless throne, and that is the enemy of self. Hello, see you are in tongues. You can say, Hmm, I hear you can say, Come, yes, you so that you can say, Yes, you and Sana, oh, yeah, oh, sorry, and Sana, and so ever. I hope we understand what I mean. Sometimes, sir, will tell you that life can be easy without any effort. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Now, when you have a you have a sinner, but you have a hard work. Yes, sir. Yes. Hello? Yes. In this year, Pensiana, you have lose a hard work works. God blesses, but he values hard work. So there is no tongueless, there is, you know, there is no throne without tongues. And that is the enemy we need to deal with. So pain is necessary for pain. Where there is no pain, there is no word pain. Where there is no tongue, there is no word throne. This guy's pain. In fact, I think. In their minds, although they were living 2,000 years ago, but in their minds, they were living in the postmodern world. We live in a postmodern world where we say we have instant things. Nowadays, everything is instant. Fast food, fast, instant, hmm? instant noodles, instant, everything is instant. So, this guy said the power they could use is to lobby and say, Lord Jesus, if you sit, now, we know we are close to you. Those guys, they are, they are all gone. Put me at your right and my brother at, my, at your wall, left. If Jesus had agreed, it's a damn deal. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Shoo, shoo, my dear. Everybody, so, so. Now, so, now, so, it's never from Perekope. Hallelujah. So, there is no pole, there is no pole with a wall. And that is the enemy. The second enemy of self. When the other ten heard this, one of them said, "Before we have, and for what you have all of it." Now we are told that when they heard it, they were so angry. They were so angry. The enemy of self. I go for the one part. I say, "Who you know? You need my search. You go and go and ask." Hallelujah. So, of course, if they also wanted to say at the right or the left hand side of Jesus Christ, they could have also asked. Hmm? So, how are we? Hallelujah. 
the enemy of self. It could be jealousy. It could be envy. Hmm? Can't you only talk to yourself? Say yes, we will buy you. Say yes, we will buy you. Yes, we will buy you. No envy. Even as Jesus has died and has been crucified for us, let's bury any form of envy, any form of what? Jealousy. Tell your brother and your sister, I'll catch you and say, I give you a young boy, yeah, if you have that. I give you a young boy, yeah. Any form of envy, any form of jealousy, away. God's church is a church of love. After all, Paul said that there is no envy in love. So these guys were angry. They are also a mere fool. They are also brothers. Sons of Zebedee, you know, are looking for you know position of prestige and what. But Jesus pointed it out clearly to them that it is not like that. You must suffer. So, so, so we will suffer. The business, you know, uh, he says you can suffer, but this says that you will suffer. Never. Go. You know. Uh, let me go over again. Uh, can you drink the car? I'll drink. Oh, we baptize me. The bottle I'm baptizing. We can. He answer. He says to them, "You will drink the car." Hmm? Yes. I drink and we baptize with the Lord. So, so, so Jesus changed it. What the answer was so important. Presumptuous answer. You know, pragmatic mentality. As long as they could answer, oh, we can. And so that Jesus will say, oh yes, okay, then I'll give you the opportunity. <laughs> All right? But Jesus said, okay, you will. Mm? Which means it's not certain that they will be able to. Hallelujah. Amen. After all, let's think. They are looking for a position of prestige. A position of significance. A position of importance. A position of glory. And it doesn't just come like that. That's why I read um, Hebrews chapter 5. Jesus said, Every high priest is selected from among men and is appointed to represent them in matter related to God, to offer gifts and sacrifices for sins. He is able to do gently with those who are ignorant and are going astray. Since he himself is subject to weakness, this is why he has to offer sacrifices for his own sins as well as for the sins of the people. And then verse 4. He says that no one takes the dishonor upon himself. He must be called by God, just as Aaron was. So Christ also did not take upon himself the glory of becoming a high priest. But God said to him, You are my son. Hallelujah. He who hold it today and say, It is God who even chooses somebody to become a priest. And then when you read further, he says that he's even selected among the people. All right? So it is not an atmosphere of another just come automatically. It is God who chooses. And even the people present also play an important role. Hallelujah. Nobody takes that honor just for himself. And then it makes me so interesting. He said, even in the Old Testament, the priests were also subject to weakness. Of course, the fact that God chooses the people doesn't mean that they are blameless. I mean, they are without weakness. They never. Hmm? When I mean, they are suffering. I suffer only so you depart. It's your own soul, man. It's your own soul, ever, man. But I say, Obia, ever position, we had done also. So they were seeking for a position of prominence without God, without the throne. And that is what Jesus said. It is not like that. Hallelujah. Yeah. The enemy of self. And then what did Jesus say? He says that when the people were also angry because of the request of James and John, you know, arguing about greatness, then Jesus said, whoever amongst you wants to be great, 
must first be your word, seven of all. The way up is down. So soon you got to mind that we say there is no tonless through. If you want God to raise you, learn the discipline of service. It's a spiritual discipline. Also, I will never fear. Also, I will never worry. Oh, yeah, there are some. Oh, you are some. Hallelujah. You want to have joy. Then you must start from what? Discipline. Service. So Jesus said, whoever wants to be great must be your servant. For Jesus Christ gave himself, he used his own life. He said, For I myself, I have come not to be served, but I have come to do what? To serve. And so in Hebrews chapter 5, verse 7, one says, Jesus Christ, while he was on earth, he prayed loud, spirit of intercession. Hallelujah. So Jesus was characterized, his life was characterized by what? Service. And not only that, he said that I have come to give my life as a ransom. Ransom. And your price, sir. Yeah, Chia Adia. Obia Bonia, did you know? So, at the same time, would you be come? He had to go back to prison. Hmm? And you know, sir. Um, oh, oh, sir, who the prison? Now, sir, where you are? Just say, who can I hold you in the bed? To be chia. Sir, can I hold you in the bed? You are the one who will get the ransom. Hmm? Ransom is basically the price we pay to set free somebody who has been born, somebody who is in bondage, who is in prison. So Jesus said, he offered up his life. Like a ransom, so that sin that has imprisoned us, sin has brought separation. What we do not want to do is what we do. Adia ya pesi ya yon, adia ya 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 yon, adia poni ya 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 yon. Yes, Christo, on a new woman who saw your soul, on you. And the name come at two hundred one mile. So you be ya, you be ya 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 So Jesus shared his life as a ransom to redeem. From the bondage of the enemy. And so Jesus went through, he had to die. He had to face the cross, the tongue, before the crown. The greatest enemy in our Christian walk with the Lord is the enemy called self. Self reliance, self importance, mm? self deception. Self, self could be our greatest enemy. And how can we be free by appealing to the greater sacrifice that Jesus has demonstrated on the cross? Me, I yes, we are my wasin yaso. I know you are the one to know so I. Hey, hey, hey. We be all selfish. Me, I'm so sorry. But me, I'm so yes. Me, I'm so for for now. Hey, yeah. And you know what I say? Chidi, I'm only here. I'm only yes. Oh, the boy has said here. Chidi, I'm only yes. Yes, yes, no. Yes, yes, yes. Manan yang mata dah nampak Yesus kata anak, na Yesus sorry ye, ini naya deh, mas sorry. Si ni asal jijin untuk kerema, lepas dia mahu aku mana, ini aku mana, dia betul ni aku kasih, dia tengah siang lepas deh, dia tengah siang semua mahu from. If we are some Jesus as our Lord and Savior, in fact, we have died with Him, we are crucified with Him. Jesus arose, so we have been arisen with Him, and through that atoning sacrifice, Jesus did for us. We can have a new nature that is geared towards loving God and serving God and serving humanity. Without Jesus, life 